let's do the perpendicular bisector. So first of all, perpendicular bisector, right? It means it has to be a perpendicular and also got to be a bisector. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a line. Uh, let's see, one like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a straight line so we can draw a perpendicular and a bisector for this one. Okay, so once you get the straight line, and um, and then let's just just to measure we can do the measurement in a minute but let's get a compass from here and then what you can do take the arm and put them on the the other edge and then kind of like take it more than half okay, more than half and what you're going to do kind of like draw an arc there okay now what you, once you draw the arc and you take this so and put them right on the other corner and then cut the arc okay so once you cut the arc and then what you're going to do and uh, you take a line again and or you can take the ruler and then draw a line through those the arcs so if you draw the line through the arcs right here so this is basically a perpendicular bisector so if i want to check it let me see if i can bring the ruler and then we can measure so let's say if you see this is like almost what four inches so you see that it's a uh, cut it into two inches so that's a bisector and also if you want to put a protractor here and then see this is going to be exactly 90 degrees so that means it's a perpendicular and also a bisector. Okay.